Fourth of July, holiday weekend, right around the corner, and so we need to fire up the grill. But there's a, there's, there's a caveat <laughs> there's a here. Twist. <laughs> okay. Our next yes. guest is here with some surprising dishes that can help you up your grill game. So please welcome, of course, the co-host of The Good Dish, <laughs> Chef Jamika Pessoa. Thank you so much for being hello, with us. Hello, hello. All right, Jamika, what, what are we doing here now? Okay. This is, this is a big meat eater. She's, we had a I grilling know, segment. I know. It's supposed to be this a steak. A, I know, but we're not doing <laughs> not proteins doing today because right. I feel like people are using their grills, but there's an array of things right. that they're sleeping on that All you right. didn't even realize you could put on the grill. So that's what we're doing today. So you can add this to your, your barbecue yeah, no, chicken and this, your ribs and all that stuff. It smells amazing. Yes, yeah, so we're starting off with grilled fruit. This is called the ultimate grilled fruit cocktail. Okay. All right, so any fruit that you like. We have apples, pineapple, mango, watermelon. You can put that on your grill. Cut it into about one inch, one and a half inch thick cubes. Pat it dry and put it directly on your grill. What that's gonna do is caramelizing. You get that char. You see the grill marks here? Yeah. Yeah. That is what we're going for. We're not cooking it. We just want to get that. That seals in that natural sweetness starts to come out. The browning textures, flavors. We are adding so many dimensions of things going on here with this fruit. But that You're shouldn't still be looking puzzled well, though, TJ. I'm used to, I, I've grilled pineapple plenty of times, but other things, I'd be worried about it getting a little too much or something, but you just no, say no, just no. char it and pull That's it around. That's why we cut it in the thick cubes. And then once you cut it, you immediately put it on a baking sheet or a flat surface, okay. chill it down, and then we make the cocktail, if you will. You're really building a mojito in okay. essence, <laughs> but you don't have to add the rum it's totally optional jump in here with me we have lime juice she said the rum is optional she yeah. just it's it is rum. an option you know who you're talking to i mean it's, yeah. it's kind of tj yeah. after hours you and i we party <laughs> together okay so lime juice and sugar right. continue whisking that okay, for me honey sure. we have some fresh mint i don't want you to chop it up because mint starts to turn brown when you ah, chop it so we're simply tearing it and then you're going to toss it in with your fruit and chill it i love to serve it in some cocktail glasses oh, yes. and then finish it with you've seen in the south when you put a little salt on your watermelon oh, on yeah. top of your fruit. Oh, so yeah. that, sweet. Yes, that gives that burst <laughs> of flavor and it just brings out all of that sweetness. That and we've good. done it with the grill, so we've added another that kind of great. flair and fun. I like to serve this when we're having poolside, your guests arrive, nice. you give them a cocktail, that put fruit good. in there too. That looks all right? Great. Yes. I love it. All right, now coleslaw on the grill. You didn't know you could do that. I did, I did not, not know, know that. that. I, I mean, did not. why not? We're grilling the cabbage within itself. I have some green cabbage. You can also use purple, but I like the way the green looks. I've cut them into wedges and keep the stem intact. That's going to keep it together while it's on the grill. Awesome. Brush it with a little bit of olive oil. And if you have that famous barbecue spice rub that you love to use mm. that grandpa put together, put that on here, okay? <laughs> or you can just do salt and, pepper. salt and pepper. Put it directly on a hot grill, about 400 degrees, 450 degrees. You see what we got here. Huh. What we're created is texture, and you get a smokiness if you oh. put on the outdoor grill. We're not cooking it through. Just once you hear that, that sear, you get those colors, pull it off. So just a matter of like... A few minutes, a minute, one, minute, minute or two. Or two. Okay. And if you want to add more flavors, I do grilled peppers, grilled carrots, even chop that down. And then the dressing, because you got to dress your coleslaw. It's typically, of course, mayonnaise and whatnot. I'm adding barbecue sauce mm. to my dressing. And if whatever brand you like, that's the brand you use. You like it smoky, sweet, spicy, hot, whatever you do, that's what you go with. Also, a little mayonnaise. All right. And then, of course, you got to have the vinegar, vinegar yeah. and the sugar. I'm, in, I'm from the South, so we add a sugar. kiss of sugar to everything. <laughs> there we go. And you can add a little salt and pepper into that as well. And then you're going to toss it in your dressing. I have some already mixed right. up here. Toss it in with your coleslaw. Give it a whirl. Mm. And then you see what we end up with. That looks yeah, great. You see that beautiful? You get those it, chopped that, onions the, on top. Put some green onions. You got the color. You got the bite. When you take a bite of this, okay, during the commercial break, I want you okay. to do it because I don't want to mess up <laughs> okay. that suit. Okay. Put it on a pulled pork sandwich. Man, oh, that is amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yes. And then dessert. We're going to finish it off. Bananas foster. Grilled mm. bananas foster. You have your bananas. Slice it thick. And I use frozen pound cake from the grocery store oh, freezer wow, section. Dude. It's going to hold it together nicely on the skewer. And then the sauce. Of course. First, traditional New Orleans dessert. You have the rum, it flares up, it's flambe, it's great. We're deconstructing it. Once you put on your skewer, brush it, and you put on your grill. Oh you see God. how you okay. get the wow. toasty that looks grill so pound cake goodness going on. You can add the rum or not, but of course, dark rum is where you want to go with it. Finish it off with oh, ice cream. Okay. And I made extra so you can just drizzle until oh, your hand yeah. gets tired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is what the kind of things I do. You got to follow me on social media. Okay. Chef, Jamika. Okay. Chef Jamika, all my social media. This is what I do. All right. all kinds of I fun love stuff. it. I I mean, am right really, down. really creative and, and yummy. I, that banana's foster okay. looks amazing. And you got to try right. this. Thank you. I will.
yourself. And no, right. you're right. No protein See, necessary for this one. You I am absolutely. I believe in you, Jamaica. Come on, I believe in you, Jamaica. Chef Jamaica Pessoa, thank you so much for today's recipes. You can go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food, or you can scan the QR code that, that is on your screen right now, and be sure to check your local listings to catch Chef Jamaica on The Good Dish. There you go. <laughs> These are good dishes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.